I saw what you hit, bro. Oh, no. Yeah, I smashed in pretty good. <laughs> Got the Gladiator out at old Wally World Walmart. Listen, y'all, had a crazy week with classic motorcycles crossing the Ozarks. It was awesome. But now I'm ready to get into a little nature and share it with you. And I'm kind of excited because the Jeep thing's kind of new for me. I love travel. I love adventure. I love nature. I love getting in the woods. I've been really just loving the off-roading. And today I'm going to be doing my first collab. I reached out to a gentleman who's got a page online overlanding in the Missouri area. And he is going to be showing us around today. The name of his channel is Off Road recon so if you all are enjoying any of this off-road content that i've been throwing at you be sure to go over and give him a subscribe because him and his lovely wife are going to be our hosts let's go meet them right now what do you what do you got going on back here man oh just trying to get everything packed in for the trip <laughs> packed in for the trick so you're running an f-150 f-150 platinum yeah it has enough room for all of our crap refrigerator freezer kitchen everything we need man that's a hell of a refrigerator yeah yeah, it's dual zone, both sides. You got fridge on this side, freezer on the back, and then nice. it's got a battery backup on it, so it'll run off of a battery too. Too nice, man. You got your rooftop cool. tent up high. Yeah. Pretty cool, man. Air ride, so you can bring it down when you want to get in your tent. Just twist this knob here, and it all comes down. That's pretty cool, man. So there's all kinds of cool vehicles you can overland with. That's one of the beautiful things about it. I went with the Gladiator, and now uh, we're going to be rolling with my first f-150 rock and roll man and your wife she's good at hiding now she's too. good at hiding <laughs> all right we'll meet her a little bit later Let's get on the road and check out uh, some of these trails so these overlanding videos are a little bit new to me and for all of you i've done a few of them uh, you go back in my off-road section on my youtube playlist and you can find all of my off-road videos i've done but i'm really interested to hear what y'all would like to see most i know some of you are just motorcycle guys and aren't really into the off-roading but if you're gonna watch a short video, uh, my travels, what do you wanna see most? Do you wanna see the nature? Do you wanna see the truck performing? Do you wanna see the mods and upgrades that other guys are using? Uh, do you wanna see what we're cooking or eating? Or do you guys wanna see like how our camp is set up? I always like to try to give you what you wanna see. I'm gonna do it all either way, but what I take the time to stop and film and share, I want it to be what you all wanna see. So let me know in the comments below. It'll make a difference and I it, it matters to me. I really wanna make videos that you all enjoy when it comes to the off-roading what do you all want to see i want to know all right so we've just gotten off onto some of the first gravel roads following them there it is platinum and for me man just getting back on these trails and experiencing and seeing what's back here is awesome and i'm really lucky i get to stumble upon some nature right some some animals things like that had quite a bit of rain yesterday so i'm hoping we'll see some good trails so although i'm looking forward to your replies on what we're going to show today i'm just going to try to show you some of the beauty that america has to offer right here in the mark twain national forest of Missouri. okay stop for a little break here. Looks like we got a little picnic area where you can hang out and it looks like one heck of a view. So where are we right now? This is Glay Top Trail. Glay Top Trail. Yeah, and we're about 1,400 feet in elevation. You don't get a whole lot higher in Missouri, I don't think, but. Let's see, can I see? Usually when that ain't all grown up, you got a pretty view here. But yeah, I can see that it is. Those blue mountains out there, those hills are Arkansas. I love your front bumper. And the, and the lights and the winch, that all looks really good. Yeah, that was a lot of work. <laughs> I bet it was. Look who we have here. What's up there, little fella? You're okay. He actually wanted to get back inside the fence, I think. Well, we got rain coming in and the trail's getting better. You can see we've got some shelves here, some rock shelves that are coming down. And this one here is about 
that's uh, shin height, so that's about a two foot shelf. And they just keep dropping down bigger and bigger. This one here, you got about uh, hip height, so you're about four foot on this one from bottom to top, but there's a couple steps there. That one right there might catch the bumper on the Gladiator. That's one bad problem about the Gladiator compared to the other Jeeps is the bed's a little bit longer, so that bumper will kind of catch. Let's give these a shot. Ooh, he's close to scraping. Ooh, I can hear it just barely touched. He made it. He's got it. This is really nice down here, man. Yeah, that's one of our favorite spots in Missouri to ride. Look at this rock. The way it's formed and all smooth like that, it almost looks like lava. It's super smooth. It all catered in. And it goes all the way down like that. It's pretty unique stone. I wonder what stone that is. If any of you know, let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know exactly what it is that I'm wheeling on here. That looks like a good swimming hole. It is, but usually it's a lot deeper and you can jump off this bluff and there's, there's water running right down this waterfall. Oh wow, this is a beautiful spot, man. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. I don't think I'd want to swim in that right now though. <laughs> looks pretty stagnant. But when it's rolling, I bet you it's great. Yeah, yeah man, the Jeep is getting dirty. Little mud, little dust. The way it's supposed to be, I like it when it looks like this. you can't flex I say well it sure enough can that's a pretty deep hole you're talking you know belly button height down in here you crawled out of it pretty good on that F-150 I, I saw what you hit bro your steps your running boards yeah, I smashed in pretty good, bro. I knew I hit something. Look at it, underneath your door. Did it try to come down? It, yeah, it tried to come down when you opened the door earlier. I knew something hit hard. Yeah, it's got a couple good sides. Yeah. Well, it looks like it still works. Let's see here. You know what, though? Like, I think it looks better myself. It kind of like did it. look Personally. Yeah. I think it's a nice touch. Yeah, yeah. Character. <laughs> so I'm Ben with Off Road Recon. This is my family. This is Brandy over here. Brandy, hello. And uh, Connor and Clara, Clara Connor. The truck. What's up, man? Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, Clara. And uh, we just we go all over and go riding and off roading, and we have a Jeep that we off road in, like Adam does. We like to go out to Colorado and Utah and stuff like that. So when we camp out of this thing and we all hang out and just go have good family time. And that's what we're doing on our channel. Cook some good food every once in a while too. That sounds like a good channel to me, y'all. I've enjoyed uh, looking them up. I found them just by searching this area and looking for good trails. I stumbled upon their channel. I enjoyed it. So I reached out to them and said, hey, would you consider taking me for a little tour in your backyard, sharing with my audience channel and your area? Y'all were so gracious to say yes yeah. and meet me out here. And uh, I really thank you for that, it's man. Fun. It's It's been an awesome trip. Yeah. yeah, thanks for coming. And it ain't done yet.
Y'all, we have got a very relaxing and beautiful campsite set up. Check it out. First things first, we have got a camp fire. We've got my rig set up over here. I'm just about to make myself a little pesto pasta. Got my shower, my kitchen set up. Got the Centauri rooftop tent up on the back of the Jeep. Your kitchen setup is pretty impressive. Yeah. Let's take a look. Tell everybody what you got. Well, so we've got our uh, tailgate and go set up here. This is pretty much everything you need. You got your grill, your sink, your stove, and your cutting boards, all 15 of them. <laughs> uh, refrigerator and uh, freezer. That is nice. Made by Helix Industries. And then uh, my homemade table here. I dig it, man. Tailgate, yep. You know, I, I priced out getting one of those for on there, and they are Stupid. ridiculously expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I think this was 70 bucks. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You've got a tent, but you've got uh, bunks for the kids inside, which I think is really cool with the annex. Yep, so you got the Rome Vagabond tent with the annex, and then we put bunk beds in there for the kids. and So the kids sleep on the bunk beds. Yep. Inside, they basically got their own tent yep. connected to mom and dad up there. That is just about perfect. Right. Do you like your bunk beds? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty neat, huh? Well, this is the camp from the ground, y'all. Uh, I just want to kind of show you where we're spending the night. I'm going to start cooking some dinner, but before I do, I'm going to give y'all a look from the drone. So let's, uh, let's get that bird in the sky. that is it for today's video just a little off-roading a little exploring found a really great campsite here it's always good to sometimes just get away unplug and just relax no matter what struggles you're going through no matter what uh, things you're fighting with especially if you're a veteran you know we lose so many veterans every day to suicide uh, taking their own lives right here on our own soil and if you happen to be a veteran out there who's struggling with something talk to somebody that loves you talk to somebody out there reach out to them talk to them nobody wants it to go bad and there's no reason for it there are groups out there there are hotlines out there there are people who will listen and will help you so that's the message i want to give to you today as i'm missing my girl and feeling a little lonely out here i know uh, i've been away for a week now sometimes loneliness can be a dangerous thing and just know that there's somebody out there that will listen and will help you should you find yourself in need please please take the time to make the phone call it might just change not only your life but the people's lives around you and you stay stubborn you don't give up no matter what happens you stay stubborn put your mind to a goal stay focused stay stubborn and you will see through to the other side just like i will see you in tomorrow's video